Let's begin by creating the images database. And I've downloaded the starter files this week, images.zip, to my htdocs folder. And I'm going to extract all into images. One of the things you'll see here is this images.sql file. And we want to import that into phpMyAdmin and then create an images user. So I'm going to go to localhost XAMPP and click on phpMyAdmin. And under databases, I'm going to click import, choose file, and I'm going to navigate to my htdocs images folder and select images.sql. And I'm just going to click the Go button at the bottom. And import successfully finished. I have an images table. It's got, I'm sorry, images database. It's got two tables, image data, which is currently empty, but has an ID field and a data field. And then metadata, which is also empty, as name, created, type, size, and image ID. So that part is good. Now I'm going to go back up to server, click users, and I'm going to create a new user. The username is images, password is images, retype images, and I'm going to leave all of this blank for now and say go and then I want to grant special privileges to the images database to the images user so I'm going to edit privileges go to database from the drop down I'm going to select images and this time instead of just giving the user select we need to give them select insert update and delete and that will give them access to store images in the database as well as to retrieve images. And then I'm going to click Go. So I should be set up with the images database and the images user. In order to test this, I can go to localhost images. And I'm going to call this list images here and I just get back empty so that's actually a good sign that means that there are no records in the database but it looks like everything's working if I wanted to make sure that everything was working I can break it so the this time the login information is inside of this constants.php so if I go ahead and change the password to images X and save and then hit reload now I get an error that I couldn't log in or access so that means everything was working before I'm gonna fix that and hit reload and now everything is good